Have you ever tried to use a traditional low side manifold gauge on a heat pump only to have it get damaged when the system goes into heating mode? Hi, it's Paul again. And if that's happened to you, you're not alone. A heat pump uses the same basic refrigeration cycle for cooling and heating through optimized heat exchangers and a reversing valve, which reverses the direction of heat flow to change which coil is the condenser and which is the evaporator. For that reason, both gauges must be able to handle high pressures. That's why we designed both the high and low side gauges of the Yellow Jacket heat pump manifold for pressures up to 800 PSI. It's built to handle the pressure, whether the pump is in heating mode, cooling mode, or in transition. The Class I gauges offer temperature scales that cover the most popular heat pump refrigerants, R22, R407C, and R410A. Because R407C refrigerant has a significant temperature glide, we divided its pressure temperature scale into two sections. For temperatures below 50 degrees, the scale is based on dew point. For temperatures above 50 degrees, the scale is based on bubble point. Use the DP section for superheat calculations and the BP section for subcooling calculations. That's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.